finally got that screw out. Um, you can see not too much dust in there. You can see a little tiny circle from where it intakes. Yeah, it's dust. Um, some thermal pads in here. Uh, just to try to keep the temperature down, it looks like. Oh, uh, this was the battery attachment. Here's power, here's your whole power. Um, this is good, still good. You got the Cat5 Ethernet jack in here. Uh, that's good. Uh, the power is still good. He did confirm that this is good. The motherboard gets power. The motherboard gets power. Um, it's just somewhere in this motherboard assembly uh, there's a broken capacitor or something uh, that's on the fritz and that's what's going wrong with this. Looks like he tried a new one of these things. So this little disc, I don't know what it is, is good as well. I don't know how useful that is really. <laughs> There's your uh, heat uh, HB thermal module, it's thermal module, which is I guess the fan and the heat sink, and uh, well, this is the thing that HP replaced. So. Oh, look, an integrated. Uh, yeah, so here's the proof that uh, I'll take this off. Uh, here's the proof of the uh, that this NVIDIA chip is integrated. This is the CPU uh, for obvious reasons that it's actually removable and this is the GPU. Uh, it's an integrated GPU and it's kind of funny because it's only got I mean it's I'm, I'm touching this because I know no one else is going to use it um, partly because it's on the motherboard and it's going to be a big soldering job to get it off. Um, yeah, so it's only got like some heat. <laughs> yeah, it says NVIDIA on it, so it is the, definitely the graphics chip. Um, it's just got like this kind of like heat sponge on there. And you can tell it's been pretty much should be used. Um, also, just take note, um, I want you to look at the, uh, uh, or the uh, thermal paste on here, you can't really tell. I'll move the light closer to this keyboard. Um, this thermal paste on here, uh, where is it? It's right, it's right, right here. And uh, it's just totally burnt off, and it's like, yeah, look at that. I can touch it, and it doesn't even get on my finger. I mean, you know something's wrong there when you touch thermal paste, and it doesn't get your finger dirty. I mean, I've been working. I've worked with some AS5, some Arctic Silver 5, and I mean, you touch that before, at, uh, before when you're putting it on, it gets on your finger and it makes you really dirty. After it, because I mean I've, I was fixing uh, 360s with it after you know intense temperatures on those cores and then you're wiping it off. It's still extremely, extremely uh, you know, messy. So I mean this is just kind of sad. Yep, AMD Turion 64X2. The processor is good. Um, uh, is something I can say uh, he tested that too so it's not the processor that's um, I mean this processor has been hot for sure I was unlocking it uh, let's see if I can get this off oh there we go dope all the pins are there it's pretty pretty good so um But yeah, pretty cool, if, yes, if I do say so myself. Um, 
Yeah, so I'm not going to show you guys reassembly. Obviously, you just do everything in reverse order. Yeah, I'm a little curious as to... Well, this little cord that I said I didn't know what it was earlier is actually uh, the Wi-Fi chip cord. That's it for this uh, disassembly of the HP laptop. Um, if you notice some jumps, if you notice some jumps through here, uh, it's because it, I don't know, I'm debating on whether I'm going to bother to edit this or not. But if it, there is some cuts, there's nothing in the cuts. Um, everything is in working order here. Um, and it's not, I mean, if there's any cuts at all, then it's because there's just a big bunch, it was a bunch of me looking at the laptop trying to figure out where to go next because so it's not always, it's not very obvious with this laptop. I mean, most laptops, at least the next laptop I'm getting, this bottom part comes off and then I get to see the motherboard and I can pull the motherboard out from there um, versus having to take apart, take off the screen, the, 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 the freaking keyboard and that and the mouse pad. Oh my gosh, I, I mean, just ridiculous. But yeah, so this is, it took me an hour, an hour and a half to assemble, disassemble this for the first time, so by no means was it a, a quick task. And uh, so, and this is a long, long video, so that's why I'm saying it's probably going to get edited, at the very least get cut up into many, many, many pieces, many 10 minute pieces, which is going to be ridiculous. Um, but I mean, I could do it. Uh, yeah. So, uh, hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, otherwise, I mean, mostly for the educational value because these videos will be around for a while. Um, it's really just a shame that uh, my motherboard's dead. I mean, because otherwise, anything else on here, as I, sh I mean, as you can see, is pretty much replaceable. So, uh, thanks for watching. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the, all of this.